In this video we will look into how to save the trained neural network, we will use a package called Pickle to do that. At the moment when we click save network or load network nothing happens. These buttons are linked to two methods, save nn and load nn. Let's move to save nn first. Pickle cannot save complicated objects for various reasons. So to get around this, we are saving all related parameters and objects that are possible. And recreate the network and reload them in load network function. Before we pack the data, we need to check if a network has been trained. If no trained network, we will show an error box to user. If a trained network exists, then we will pop a file save dialog to user, the first argument define folder, which is the same folder as the program. Second argument define file extension, here is double n. Third argument is the title of the dialog box. Fourth argument is the file extension filter. If user cancel the dialog box there will be no path returned, so we will just tell user that saving is failed in the status bar. If file path is not empty, then we start the actual packing process, what we do here is to create a list for us to dump required information. First we append all GUI information such as combo boxes. And then we append trained biases and weights. Also we need to know length of each layer so we run through list v node to get the information. After that we open the file to save file, the first argument is file location, and second argument wb is to create file in writing status. Finally we tell the user that saving is success. You can refer to pickle documentation for details, it cannot pack complicate object directly, such as the view and controller class here. So next is the load nn method. Similar to save, we need a file pick dialog box. If path is not valid we will tell user and do nothing. If path is valid, then we use pickle package to load the file, the first argument is file location, where the second argument is to open file in reading mode. We use pickle to load the list into a variable called load objects, so we can get back the information. After that we just reverse what we did in the save method. First is the layer setup. We need a loop function to allocate numbers to proper corresponding combo boxes. After that we need to reset view class, which it does is to clear all variables. Also it will call controller.clear method to clear the controller object. Now we can call create nodes within view class to recreate the neural network. Then we can load all the bias and weights. After that we call flat turn list for both weight and bias within controller class. And also call update weight and update bias to update them on canvas in view class. Now we also load settings for training combo boxes. We set the flag for network train to true. The last thing is to inform user the load is successful in the status bar. Now let have a quick test. We now have trained a big neural network, let's try to save it. Saving is successful. Now let's start a fresh one and try with load button. Loading is successful. We can further train it, after loading training data set. It works perfectly. We can see the cost function result continuously decrease from 2.5 to under 1. In next video we will look into use trained network for prediction. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please thumb up. Please subscribe for upcoming interesting videos.
If you have any questions please feel free to post as comments.